transition from nursery into primary one is a very important time in the lives of our young people. This short film has been recorded and scripted by our children with a view to help you understand what happens when your child goes from nursery into primary school. Here at Netherly, we hold a welcome day. We spoke with some parents and children in our nursery to see what questions they had and what they were looking forward to about starting school. My boy struggles to carry a little rucksack. Is he going to manage to carry a big school rucksack and his lunchbox and his water and a pencil case? I don't know. Our welcome day is a chance for the children to meet their new teacher and make new friends in their class. This helps children from nurseries familiarise themselves with their new school and classrooms. For parents, it is an opportunity to hear lots of important information about their child starting primary school. The parents also get to see the children in their classes and interacting with their new friends. How is he going to manage to do homework after a full day at school, home for dinner, and then we do bath and things? We're just homework fit in. I can't get him to sit down for his dinner, never mind if you want homework. So, how can I get that to fit in our, our schedule? So, it's going to change what we do at home. So, that's a big question for me for P1. They can see just how much school has changed over the last few years, with primary one learning through a play based curriculum. We've been to school and we've been with paper cycling and we've been to the gym. As well as sharing information, parents can chat with our leadership team regarding any queries they may have. I think being at the nursery to begin with has been really helpful. The transition, even just coming through the playground and just the older kids being there, is quite, maybe for a child that's never been to this environment, it's quite overwhelming. Yeah. But that coming into school, lots of kids running about, even the first day when there's loads of parents and everyone here, really happy to come in, sit down at the table and was happy for us to go, which was great. Unlike some of the other kids who are quite excited about going into P1, my wee boy has been quite quiet, so I think there's a wee bit of apprehension. So again, I think seeing where he's going and understanding it, this is where you're going to be, here's your teacher, here's what your environment looks like, I know you don't have desks, but I don't know what you do have. So seeing what he does have and seeing what he's going to, I think will allow us some talking points. We offer a lunch tasting session which helps reassure parents as they see lunchtime procedures in action. This also allows children to try our delicious menu which has lots of choice and variety which can be found on our East Renfrewshire Council website. Our catering staff get to know the children and cater for all the dietary requirements. Our allergy champion ensures all the children with food allergies are served appropriately. My job is to check what the child has ordered. If they cannot have what they have ordered, an alternative will be provided. I then directly serve the child, always ensuring that they have their purple allergy band. This is another step in the process of supporting parents and their children to settle into school routines. Our primary one teachers also visit nurseries and see all the children in their nursery environment before they start school in August. We also host additional transition gatherings which are like our welcome day, only smaller. These gatherings allow the children another opportunity to meet their class and class teacher whilst their parents and carers have tea and biscuits with their leadership team. The children also meet their P7 buddies and carry out a structured task which will be on display in their class when they arrive in August. Our nursery tie ceremony marks the end of the children's journey through nursery and celebrates the start of a new chapter into primary school. Well, he's loved. He's loved primary one, I think. He's been, he's been desperate to start school, so, uh, yeah, posted. Uh, yeah, this morning, the first thing I said was I'm so excited to school, so, well, that's yeah, that's good. Good. so yeah, yeah, definitely, uh, I think he needed the challenge, so it's just a great time for him to start, you know, he's enjoying it, you know, not here so far. Here are some of our current primary one children sharing their own experiences. I like my teacher because she lets us play things that we don't usually get to play with and we get to play in the open area and play with the doll's house and the bricks and um, the, the paint and play-doh and we also get to um, play inside with the magic keys. We also get to draw and at the fighting people. 
All primary one children experience free flow in our open area where they can learn and play with their friends from other primary one classes. I like the open area because um, um, you get to play with the dollhouse um, and there's the locks and bricks and you get to play with Lego and there's some painting. My boy's Leon and he transitioned beautifully. I was a wee bit apprehensive because nursery is so very familiar to him and although he's been to primary school uh, up on visits and things, I didn't really get how much he'd been here. So I be, was totally unfamiliar with the school. So he basically brought me in and knew exactly where to go. So he was very comfortable with the surroundings, which was really reassuring at the very beginning. And he is loving it. He is loving packing his school bag. He runs up in the morning to pick, is it PE day? Can I wear a shirt today? He's found these wonderful shirts that he can open himself. Okay. That are wonderful. He packs his school bag. He's just really excited. To be honest, he's been high as a kite since starting for two entire weeks. How do you feel your child has progressed into primary one? What have they enjoyed? I think they've loved starting school, putting on the uniform and getting into the classroom and just starting to be a big girl and learning and the, you know, Jessica's adjusted to it really, really well. Have the evenings that we've had at school been helpful to support you with your child coming into primary one? Um, yes, I think they've been incredibly helpful. I think it gives us a, an idea uh, and some sort of insight into what the, the kids have from the morning up until the end of the day uh, where they're suitably tired. Um, we've got insight into the, the techniques and, and teaching which is you know, teacher-led and also child-led and the interplay between the two uh, and also how numeracy and, uh, and language is important and how that's going to develop. So I think it's given us an insight into them and how to support them hopefully uh, and we hope to continue that uh, over the next few months. Oh, 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 oh,